I've got some exciting theories for you guys, so get ready for this roller coaster. What's going on, my DC fans? And let's just get started right away. I don't know if a bunch of you are aware of this, but you probably are if you're following the movement on Twitter or anything. But or um, RT Snyder Cut is always doing stuff to raise money for banners and and all kinds of you know the the flyovers and the billboards and magazines. It, we've we've done all kinds of crazy stuff for the release of Snyder Cut campaign. So the newest thing, which is I don't even know how they think of this stuff, is going to be a televised soccer game on ESPN, I believe, uh, Sunday morning. They paid to have four minutes of a banner that goes around the stadium, an electronic banner that says "Release the Snyder Cut," going around the stadium for four minutes during the game, which is huge. It's like whoa. That's awesome. So I'm looking forward to watching that game to possibly get a glimpse of that because that's going to be sweet. Like, you know, now we're talking television. And I'm thinking about this, right? I'm thinking about all the, the banners and all this stuff. And I'm thinking about, okay, Zach really wanted us to push hard on November 17th. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm like, holy shit. We, we are advertising for this movie. Movie. We are we are the advertisements for this movie. The the money that we're putting towards these banners and the and this stuff in the magazines and 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 like the billboards and all that stuff, we're paying for that. WB has not put out a dime for marketing for the Snyder Cut movie. Haven't said a word about it. So one of my theories is, what if WB went to Zach, and they said, okay, Zach, here's the deal. You know, we're not giving you any more money to market this thing. Um, and we're not even sure if we want to release it. You, what if you, you need to prove to us that we need to release it. Show us that you have a fan base and you need to market it yourself. So maybe that's why Zach was like, let's go guys, push, push, push. And you can see that he has a, a, a connection with a bunch of these people like McD and, and R.T. Snyder Cut and, and, and certain guys involved in the movement and like they know certain things. And I think that might be what's in play here. Is it maybe WB is, is looking from from the back and saying, okay, 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 well, here's another thing. Oh, they paid all this money to have the banners at a soccer game. That's huge, right? That's big. That's more marketing. That's more advertising for the movie. And then eventually WB will be like, okay, Zach, we're going to release the movie. You, you know, you, you proved to us for a couple months in 2020 or whatever, hopefully. Um, you proved to us that, that you know, this thing has been advertised well and more and more people know about it. Millions of people know about it. And then we will release it in the movie theaters or HBO Max, however they want to do it. I think that could possibly be what's in play here. But to go off that, we have Birds of Prey, which is coming out in like literally a month. Like February 7th, I believe. We're still waiting for a final trailer for that movie. This is like the new way that, that DC does this now is um, Warner Brothers with their DC content is they don't like to, to show many trailers now it seems like that's been their approach for a couple movies maybe now with like definitely Shazam and Joker and now Birds of Prey. It's like one trailer and then maybe a final you know month before the movie comes out but we haven't seen the final trailer yet so we're waiting for that right we're waiting for that final trailer. I didn't know what to think about this movie, but I'm excited for it. The, the, the images, the, the, I, I, it looks good. I mean, again, if you can pull it off and make a good movie, I'm all for it. Whatever, I wasn't excited about the concept, but from the trailers in my eyes, it looks good and I'm excited to watch it. And hopefully it turns out really well. To go off of that, to continue with the Snyder Cut, the third thing I want to say, is right, this is perfect. Again, <laughs> We like the move, people in the movement. We, we should be working for the marketing team, in dub, like with WB. Like seriously, like this is a a great idea, right? Here's the thing. I don't know how how well Birds of Prey is gonna do. I just don't. It's rated R, but Joker's rated R. I I just don't know if it's gonna do well. I, I feel like it has the potential to do, to do very well because it's an all female led cast. Margot Robbie, like they big following, like. It has a lot of potential to do well. But it, in my eyes also, it has a lot of potential to do bad or not to make that much money. So here's the thing, right? I think WB, they're planning on releasing the Snyder Cut. You know what you say? So you say to the fans, you say, hey, hey guys, listen. Um, there's a trailer for the Snyder Cut dropping with the Birds of Prey movie. Boom. Easy money. And that way... 
you can see how many people are going to show up to the Birds of Prey movie. A lot of DC diehards are going to be there anyway because they're DC diehards, including myself. But a lot of people that are like, I'm done with DC unless you release a Snyder Cut, they're going to be there. And, and put that attached to the movie. How awesome would that be? That would, for, for advertising for this movie, that would be insane. Because then it will be like, holy shit, there's a trailer, but it's attached to Birds of Prey. So now I need to go see it, opening night, right away. And those numbers will be gigantic. It's a brilliant idea. Put the, the trailer attached to Birds of Prey, and that movie will do financially amazing. Hell, I might see it a couple more times just, just to see the trailer. Could you imagine? Like, that would be awesome. Or, hell, don't tell us at all. And I'll be there opening night and there's a Snyder Cut trailer. To, like, that would just, oh my god. I would, I, I don't know what I would do. I'd probably have to run out of, like, the movie theater or something and, and just make a video. Or, I don't know. But that's, that, they're my theories, guys. Um, I, 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 I really, again, we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. I don't know. I don't, I don't talk to anyone about it that, that has information on what's going on on the inside or whatever. But I just feel like that, that makes a lot of sense since WB is like pushing Zach to advertise to get this thing hyped up. That's why Zach was like for the new year, he was like, you know, we still have a lot of work to do. We still have work to do for 2020. Because Zach knows that we need to hype this up even more. We need to hype it up. And then we will get what we want. We will get what we've been fighting for this whole time. But anyway, guys, that's the video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe because it helps me in return. I can help you. And as always, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, new content's coming to you from Subjective Reviews. And thank you for watching.